Okay, mage, this is fine. Play 25 cards that were lit on fire from the effect of burn down. Oop. And then up to 50. And you can see I've already got 7. I forgot to film the intro before I did the game, so spoiler alert, I got 7 casts. But let's talk about the core of the deck anyway, yeah? So basically, burn down, draw 3 cards and then light them on fire. In three turns, they s any it's still in hand or destroyed. So since this is draw three, and we're trying to get copies of it if we can, I'm actually going to try and p not put too much more draw into the deck. Um, and in order to mitigate that somewhat, I'm going to make sure I have the Gaslight Gatekeepers in. You may notice that uh, a lot of the times I'll end up with a Gaslight Gatekeeper in my hand and I won't end up using it. Um, this is more of like an encase card. Like if you're just not seeing what it is you need to see, you use one of these and you hope to return it. So if things are going well, I don't typically use it. Anyway, I think I'm more likely in general to use it in this deck because um, I won't have as much draw aside from the burn down itself since it's just going to draw me a lot by itself. So... Uh, let's see what I can put together. Okay, so the the burn down, you draw the three cards and you light them on fire, but you do have three turns to play them, so you don't necessarily have to keep your 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 deck insanely small mana cost like I was thinking. But I did want to just play around with the galactic projection orb, so I have like spells, one spell, one 10 cost spell, one 9 cost spell. I didn't want to put the, the Yogg in a box in. You know, I'm not trying to do randomness right now. But 7, 6, 5. And then everything else is like, aside from having the ro Rogue Taurus every in, everything else is 4 and lower. So, you know, if it's if I've got 7 mana or more, then I can cast it with, with no... I can I can cast a burn down with, with no... With reasonable expectation that I'll be able to cast everything that I draw with it. Um, I did want to keep the number of three drops in particular down, just so that the Robocaller would be more likely to be able to get burned down itself uh, if it if it dials up a three. But uh, the Dream Planner, I mean, I still want to make progress with that, so I'm I'm not upset if the Robocaller draws that instead. But in the meantime, I mean, my curve is still very light in general. It's just like these. I've got a, a heavy element to it. Anyway, this should be fine. Kael'thar versus Uther. I will fight with honor. It seems my work is not finished. Well, I have a burn down. I certainly don't need a Sunset Valley quite yet. I might not want to cast it right away at three, but I, I do like having it available. Ooh, and a Tide Pool. <laughs> and the other burn down. One dose solves any. Mind if I roll need? Just use more. Hello, hello, hello. So the fun thing is, I can get two spells off right now by doing this, and then I just maybe want to wait another turn or two before I do the burn down.
Okay, so I'm happy to go ahead and do that. I actually, I want to make room in my hand, so I'm actually just going to cast that. I think I kind of have to do this, or be dead. My hand is too full. Hello, my lord! Put 
your faith in the light. Not on my watch. My hand is too full. Okay, I'm dead anyway now, so I may as well just do that and see what happens. I mean, I suppose it's possible there. I suppose it's possible that there's some kind of 10 drop that I summoned that might not have allowed him to hit me in the face with Ashbinger, but yeah, I'm dead. Still, seven casts in a single game, not too terrible. Alright, let's, uh, let's run it. Have a good one.